Hey everyone, welcome back to Vinyl Review. There might be a bit of background noise in this video, just ignore it. Today we're going to quickly go over the Killer's Hot Fuzz. But I just wanted to talk a bit, just for a minute. Um, these videos haven't been very long. Uh, I know that these videos are probably about 3-4 minutes long. Whereas, after this, we're doing from K to L, I think. Yeah, that's how the alphabet goes. Um, obviously then I can do Liam Gallagher. When those videos are probably going to be about 7-8 minutes long. And that is because I'm biased, I'll admit. I have a bias. You know, Liam Gallagher is my favourite singer of all time. The p p point being, these videos are short. Because although I love these albums, I don't have a lot to say about them. And, you know, especially this album. There's not a lot I can say. It's just not... You know, this series, I'm going to go over every record I own. So some videos are going to be shorter than others, just for that one person who, who asked. But today, I'm going to quickly talk about The Killer's Hot Fuzz. Fuzz. Hot Fuzz. Fuzz was by Z, I think. I'm, I'm dyslexic, leave me alone. Um, it's a nice gatefold. Now, this is another childhood album. It's a true classic, especially with some of the songs. Um, we have Jenny Was a Friend of Mine, which is all right. Mr. Brightside, do uh, it started out with a kiss. How did it end up? <laughs> no, <laughs> Mr. Brightside is a great song, and it's a British classic song. Every British person, my age at least, knows Mr. Brightside. Somebody told me you had a boyfriend who looked like a girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> it's a really great song. Uh, Smile like you mean it is great. All these things I've done. Andy, you're a star. On top. Glamorous Rock and Roll, Believe Me Natalie, Midnight Show, Everything Will Be Alright. Just some really great songs. Um, definitely check out As Somebody Told Me and Mr. Brightside if you haven't. But overall, you know, The Killers are quite a good band. But it's the only Killers album I really know. There's a few other songs in there that I like. But overall, they've never been a band that's really excited me. They've never... I haven't listened to... A few of their songs uh, from other albums, and it just just didn't really hit me, you know. They're not a band that I really enjoy. I think the Kaiser Chiefs were better. Are, are they still releasing music? Or fucking... What's that other band called? Kings of Leon. These sort of British Britpop bands that were all formed after Oasis. Sort of like, you know... There was a few that I think are quite better than The Killers. The Stereophonics are a good band from that time period. But overall, just, I'm rambling, uh, you should check out The Killer's Hot Fuss. There'll be a second video later, because this one's been a bit short. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next episode. Take care, everyone. Bye.